Hello, everyone, and welcome back uh, from the Family Free For All. We're going to do a bit of a debrief for the day, remind you of the timeline, and walk you through the exercise to help you to start thinking about how you want to spend the rest of your time with us this week. Uh, it, uh, it's, uh, it's kind of an exciting, exciting time. I'm sure you're truly exhausted from talking all day. Um, and uh, I'm 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 excited to to give you some time back ahead of our evening session. Uh, so we're going to sort of move through this uh, at a pace that is is both kind of calm, but also keeps in mind that I want to give you some time back. So we sent you off to your rooms. You crowdsourced a list of research interests before that. Um, we've got our research speed dating spreadsheet. You placed your name and research interests across the top and then filled in some ones and zeros to let us know your interest. Uh, you can keep doing that uh, because remember, this may result in a project this week or it could result in a project next year. So uh, let us know and let each other know what you're interested in and everyone's contact information is there. Then you, over the course of, let's see, 10, 15 minute rounds, so 150 minutes did speed pitching of your ideas to others uh, throughout the day. Sometimes you got five minutes, sometimes you got the full 15. Uh, if uh, one of uh, one of your, your colleagues uh, was not present, some of you got to spend that time with our research buddies pitching your ideas and talking about your ideas. I suspect there might even be some research ideas with our, uh, our visiting alums uh, that came out of that. So remember, you can pull in somebody from a previous year at six uh, to be part of your team. So uh, these were all the room assignments. Yep, this is what it looked like. Y'all were running all over the place. It was so refreshing to start to see you move yourselves because me and, and Arvin were just moving people. Just move, 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 move. Uh, so uh, yeah, this is, this is what your day looked like. Uh, you, were, you all were very busy. So where are we now? So we're at choose your own adventure, which is how I like to refer to the PhD. So um, it's so arrogant of me, I haven't even finished yet and I'm summarizing the PhD. I think about it as choose your own adventure. There's so many different ways uh, that you can combine the different expectations that uh, are handed to you as well as the skills that you bring to the table to make the degree and the journey your own. Uh, so I want you to keep that in mind as you think about what you're gonna do. So uh, we're going to have you go to that speed dating spreadsheet and we want you to each Take five minutes and write up your favorite group project idea in the Howard Team Construction tab. So you're going to add a project there, write it up, some details about what you're thinking. And then I want everybody to put your name next to the group project you want to join or claim your intention for the week if you're not doing group work. So it is totally okay to choose to master R this week or to do something on your own. As Grace reminded you, uh, the greatest I would say some of the greatest outcomes from this institute has come when people have sort of trusted the idea that we learn more together than we often do on our own. Um, but you know where you are right now. You know what you have the capability to do right now. So if you choose to do something on your own, totally fine. Uh, everybody will be presenting, whether an individual project or a group project. Uh, so something else to consider. Uh, and you, depending on the project, because we do have pretty specific, pretty, we have some specifications for the projects in terms of it being computational social science uh, or the creation, if not a research paper or a book, then the creation of some sort of tool for use by our larger community. Uh, so you may, 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 may um, bow out of the possibility of funding depending on what you choose. Uh, you also have a couple of months to put together a project. So what you work on this week could just be about skills that have nothing to do with what you're gonna apply for. So keep that in mind too. So final decisions about which teams you want to be a part of must be made by 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, Eastern time. So we will, um, you'll still have time to move around at that point, but we will have finalized the project, the range of projects by then. So by 9 a.m., you'll need to finalize um, what project you want to join. And the sheet will be locked to edits at that time. Um, so starting tomorrow, our, you'll have access to our TAs to help with your projects and small funding amounts. We are going to give you access to all the email addresses and our TAs now. So and Keith is going to go ahead and add our uh, email list and all the extra emails you gave us to that sheet, which is on our website for tomorrow. She's also going to drop it in the chat box for you. 
So if you have particular needs and you're pretty sure uh, that you need help with very specific things, uh, today and tomorrow morning would be a great time to start reaching out to the TAs. They may not be able to get here as fast as you like. So the earlier you know what you want to do and what you need help with, the better. So that could be, you know what, I'm going to spend the week working on Python. It'd be great to have somebody to meet with daily on Python or R. Um, or it could be, I'm planning on, you know, building a database or, you know, some sort of, I don't know, website. I have no idea. But our TAs are there to help you. We also can help with resources or suggestions if there are things that you need that uh, don't fall within the purview of our TAs. So normally you would be preparing a brief. Um, there are no briefs this year. These are not the briefs that we're looking for. Nobody's got time for that. We want you to focus on your projects. Uh, reminder about applying for our funds. Six umbrella funds do not exist this year. Our exclusive funds should be on your list. Uh, we have, uh, we'll go over your deliverables very quickly. You'll have enough time to write up your project. Like I said, I'm trying to give you more than enough time right now. Uh, but this is what your deliverable looks like for Friday. Everyone, individual or small group, will be giving a presentation on, um, on what you decided to work on and why. Uh, these can obviously be shifted if you're not doing a research project. I want to remind you about our timeline for the week. So you'll have access to all these slides, so please make sure you go back through them. If you have any questions, they're on our website. And, you know, these are the usual resources we put up. Okay, so let's go back to the task that you're going to be working on now. I'm giving you five minutes, but honestly, you're going to, you're going to have all night to work on this and move yourself around. Please do not spend all night on this. Um, so uh, please go ahead and, and head to the spreadsheet. Okay, so we're in Howard Team Construction. So we're looking for the project description. Is it a team or individual project? And then start putting members after it. So the team or individual. So if it's going to be an individual project, please make that clear. So write individual next to it in brackets. Um, so maybe we'll assume it's a group project unless somebody writes individual next to it. So everybody individual is going to write the name. Uh, a description of the, the main project you're interested in working on. And if the person proposing it could put proposer or something like that, like team lead next to their name under members so we know who proposed the project. So I'm going to uh, make this a little bit easier. So I'm gonna write a little mock one here at the top so we make sure the formatting uh, works out okay. As you know, things are moving target with me sometimes. So, so we're either looking for, so we've got name of team, group or individual, name of team slash project, uh, description. Uh, what is it? I can't remember the, the, the Latin you fill in when, uh, when you don't know what you're going to write. I can't remember what it is. It's like, Lorem ipsum, something like that. Lorem ipsum. My Latin is coming in handy. Ipsum. And then the members. So we've got, no, Minnie Mouse is going to be the lead, not Mickey. Minnie Mouse, lead. And then we've got uh, like Mickey, Goofy, Donald, Iron Man. Okoyo, mm, Oprah, this is a great team. All right, so that's what we're looking for, proposer or lead, whatever. Um, so again, we're looking for everybody to put their top one here. So we're expecting to see one on this list from everyone. So there should be at least one project listed by every person. Even if you ultimately decide you don't want to work on your damn project, it could be that someone else sees your idea and goes, oh, wow, that's incredible. I want to do that. So we're expecting a project listed by everybody for everyone to choose from. So for uh, let's make this first one. There we go. We'll make it super easy. We'll say proposer slash lead. And then we'll put membership. Here, okay. At the end of the day, you can only only one project per person. 
propose or lead only propose one and there we go so we're starting to see stuff get added love that love it love it love it thank you Oh, and for Berkeley folks, you should check your Black grad email list. Uh, there's an HBCU and a, um, and also supporter white party that's coming up. Uh, that's going to be in the Bay Area. So if somebody was asking about getting folks together for Bay Area folks, that is coming up. They're getting all P. Diddy. It's going to be great. So that's your example row there. All right, so this is basically your task between now and tomorrow morning. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and we're gonna look for uh, your final name in, uh, in the membership column. So we're gonna look at the membership column at what you've eventually chosen. Because again, you can propose a project and decide you don't wanna work on it yourself. Or maybe you're getting ideas here for a project you wanna launch later. You are only allowed to apply for funding for one project. You're only allowed to be part of uh, one project uh, uh, proposal for funding as well. We want everybody to try and focus on one. So again, we will be looking in that membership column to see uh, what folks have decided. And you'll be able to change for the next 24 hours after tomorrow, but we're hoping you'll be initially settled by tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Okay, while you're working on that, I'm gonna very quickly go through our um, our uh, logistics and then I'll give you a break. So just a reminder, start time, you can drop screen share. Start time is 9.30 every morning this week uh, so that you can jump into, I see your question, Rashid, I'll get you in just a second. Um, so uh, 9.30 so that we can get to everything on our agenda. Uh, we need to be able to, to get you all moving uh, ahead of any, any discussions that we have with speakers. We have a big one coming tomorrow, our, our panel on AI uh, and work. So we need you here early, starting tomorrow, every morning. Uh, and uh, please, again, be in touch with us if you've not gotten your swag box. Uh, I'm going to briefly go over tomorrow's schedule. And I also want to remind you, uh, you know, that we were blessed with the uh, with the with the energy of Akira Bell this morning, and also we had a couple of research buddies, Todd and Amber, with us today. Uh, you're going to start to see a lot more TAs as you request them for Mathematica starting tomorrow. Um, reminder: We've got some folks that are doing Q and A tomorrow with our speakers. Those are Rohitha, Nina, Jacqueline, James, Beth, Gia, Pang, Rebecca, and Dereje. So please be prepared uh, with questions related to the video that you watched, also more generally, but related to the videos you watched. And a reminder, in order to, uh, if you are interested in attending office hours with our speakers, tonight is the first time we'll have that with our speaker, Desmond, at the bottom of the uh, sign-up sheet to be a question asker, there are office hours. We can do these live also, but there are three 10-minute blocks. If we don't have anyone signed up, we will generally just let the speaker go. So if you think you might want to attend those, please add your name. Well, we ask people to sign up for one and we send folks for 10 minutes in groups with our speaker. Um, I think that's it for my stuff. Uh, so let's get to Rashid, you had a question. I know you're saying something. I am. Uh, I was standing with my shirt. Just some more Jamaica solidarity for uh, for your crew. Um, my question is, uh, so there's a project I'm already working on, and that's what I'd like to work on this week. Um, but I did propose something that I'd like to do and potentially in collaboration um, with folks um, beyond the program. And so mm -hmm. I just added that to the uh, Excel file, but I wasn't sure like how we're yeah, no, that's totally expected fine. to organize so, ourselves. Yeah, no, that's fantastic. So we want to make sure that everybody has the chance to act, to work on an active project this week, right? So if you are proposing something, but you're pretty sure you're not going to do it, I would put future next to your name, 
like future project. That's fine. So people know, hey, I'll get in touch with Rashid if I want to do that, but we're not doing that this week. Very helpful. Yep. So there's a mix of what you want to do now, what you could do later. Like I said, I'm trying to build a momentum for like all y'all to get tenure. Like I want you to get your new job and they'll be like, we're just going to give you tenure now. Like just now your, your record is it's just damn, damn. So, uh, okay. So uh, thank you. Great question. All right. So I want to make sure I give you a break. So um, we're going to open the breakout rooms. We need to give our speaker a little time to interact with our um, uh, with our moderator. So people asking questions, go to another room. We will move you probably in about 10 minutes. Thank you all for watching. For more information on six Howard Mathematica, visit our website, follow us on social media, and join our email list.